Welcome back everybody to the Engineered Angler and these are the lures that I had uh, silver plated uh, I don't know three or four videos ago uh, these all have some slight little uh, blemish or a little flaw on them but uh, today we're gonna paint these guys and I'm gonna do my best <laughs> to try to hide these little blemishes like you can see these little a uh, couple little white spots on this guy and this guy's got a couple of white spots near the nose. Oops. Now it's got another blemish. So the idea is to put a little bit of paint and enhance them while hiding some of the blemishes. So I've got a couple of color schemes that work really well out in the Gulf of Mexico in kind of that tannish water. One is a gold chrome and you can see I left the very bottom of this chrome and it's gold on the sides and on top. And what I'll do with this one is I'll make it black on top. I'll put a little strike eye on it, give it a little bit of a halo around the eye, put a little red and, and maybe put a little fluorescent orange on the chin, make it, keep it real simple. The other color pattern I really like is the uh, green top. And all I do is take a chrome lure like this, give it a misting of transparent light green on top put black on it and a little bit of a halo, another a strike eye, and just keep that real simple. On these really all gold, I don't really want to do much at all here. I think I'm just going to paint them black on the very tops, uh, put a little bit of red on the chin, and a strike eye, and I'll leave it like that. Uh, I'll do the same with this gold one. On this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and do another uh, green top and do the same as I do with this one. And then on this one, I'm going to do a slightly different paint job. I'm going to do a clown color, uh, which is a color scheme that involves bright red and bright yellow. And it's basically the whole head will be red and then there'll be yellow streaking across the top. So it'll have a lot of flash and some really, uh, really bright colors. So let's get started. Let's just mount this on the stand here. All right, so I'm going to start off with black. Uh, Usually I start off with the lighter colors, but I want to do a little bit of a transparent black uh, scale pattern. So I'm going to start off with some, some golden airbrush paint. It's, this is just transparent black. gives us a little bit of a scale pattern. Now I'm going to fill in with some, I'm going to fill in the rest up here. Now I'm just going to do the classic black top. Trying not to overspray too much. Now I'm going to put a dot right where that white blemish is. That'll give me a little bit of hiding. There's a little strike dot. All right, that looks pretty good. For this last bit, I've just got it on the lure bow. And I'm going to give it a little bit of color around the eye. Just a touch. There you go. That should do it. So now I'm going to go ahead and just put a little transparent red on the chin, let it uh, creep up in the gill a little bit, and we should be good. I'm gonna do the, uh, the clown color, and normally a clown pattern is done over uh, like a pearlescent white or just a regular white, but this one's gonna go over chrome obviously, and uh, I kind of like it. It's kind of an electric clown kind of look. The, also, it gives me an opportunity to blend colors uh, using the reflective quality of this chrome or silver plate because I'll, I'll start with red and I'll let it overspray uh, towards where I'm going to put the yellow 
and then when I come in with the yellow it, it'll go orange where I have the red and then bright yellow uh, where there's no red so it'll give it that weird sort of a blending and fading of colors all right so here goes Okay, it looks like I've got it evenly sort of distributed out. Give me a nice flash in the water. Now let's go to yellow. I'm going to start off with transparent yellow because I want to uh, get that orange shift and then I'll add in some opaque yellow to get a nice hard yellow on top. get a little opaque yellow and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot that opaque yellow from the back to the front so my overspray goes towards the orange. These two are going to get the exact same paint job, so we'll work on them together. Um, so let's get this one started. This, these are going to be green tops. And so I'm going to start with a little bit of gold right in here, just so when I lay in the, ref, the uh, transparent green, it'll blend with that gold a little bit and give it a little nice uh, kind of a, a nuance there. And it's not just going to be green and then black. And that'll be gold. Just sort of overspraying to the top. There we go. There you go. Now I got a nice gold uh, accent stripe there. Now we're moving to uh, transparent green, and this is a bright green uh, to the Createx. It's already been thinned, and let this work its way down. I'll let that dry just a moment. All right, time for some black and then a little bit of red. Now I'm gonna black top this just like I would any other lure. I'm gonna try to keep the, the, uh, the amount of black on the very top kind of narrow. So I'm gonna spray against uh, the edge of the top and do the same thing coming back. Same deal here. Now I want to, I want to stop, I want to stop the black right around where the mouth begins, uh, just to have, give it a little contrast. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Uh, on this one, since it's such a broad body, I'm going to give it a little bit of halo around the eye. On the other one, I won't. Right, now, we need to get the strike eyes on. Now, I can do this by hand or I can uh, use the template here. This is just a drill bit gauge that I use. Kind of tape off everything I'm not using.
Okay, very good. Same deal here. There you go. I'm going to freehand the area on this one. Because I want it curved. This, since this is such a broad body, I think it needs a little, little more of the pattern. Alright, let's move to green. All right, now I'm gonna move uh, back to black and get these tops done, get the strike eye on there, and then we'll do the red on the belly and we'll do the red on the other ones that are missing right on the belly. I'm just gonna freehand a spot just behind the eye. As you can tell, this is quick work. I'm not trying to create masterpieces. I've got a fishing trip Saturday, and today is Wednesday night. So I've got to get this done, clear coated and dried uh, for Saturday at four in the morning. All right, and I got a blemish right here I can cover with a little dot. And I'll put one in the same spot on the other side. All right, let's switch to red. That looks pretty good to me. That should do it on that one. Give this a little more down the belly. Alrighty. It's time to uh, dry them up a little bit. And give them a mid coat with the polyacrylic and then we'll clear coat. I've changed my little uh, cheap uh, airbrush and it has the bigger needle, bigger nozzle. So I get to put a little more out uh, and I up the pressure to about 35 PSI. So all of them have a dried mid coat now, and I just need to put eyes on. And I usually use some UV resin as glue. These are, uh, as you can see, not sticking to the backing very well. They're uh, kind of 
cheap Chinese versions of good eyes. <laughs> Place it where I want it and then I'll put a little bit of glue around it and we'll work our way around this thing. So I'm going to go with these sort of uh, holographic eyes for the ones with the silver belly. I'm just going to stick them on there with their own adhesive. No need for glue. And I like to sight down the, the lure to make sure they're not uh, kind of cattywampus and then end up cross-eyed. Alright, they look pretty nice. It's time to go to the clear coating station. All right, I'm going to use a, a larger brush than normal, and here's the Alumilite UV. And I'm just going to do one at a time, and then put it in the turner, let it turn for a little bit. I want to make sure I get plenty of resin behind the eye in the little bit of gap that I left. Go ahead and turn the lights on and shut this off. All right, here they are. And keep in mind, these are the ugly ducklings of the, um, the whole batch of silver plated lures. Uh, these are the ones that had the most uh, flaws and little gaps in them. But you really didn't miss out on anything. Uh, the other ones that I painted, uh, actually I painted with these same color schemes. So you got to see the same kind of painting I would have done on all the other ones. I'm pretty happy. Uh, the gold came out pretty shiny. The eyes look good. Uh, that's pretty nice right there. You can see that I still have a lot of the reflective quality even through all that paint. And this is kind of that wacky looking one that has the uh, color shifting a little bit from layering the paints. So even this, uh, with as many flaws as the silver had, it looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, but here, this one's got the more bold scale pattern. It's gold, and then it's chrome on the belly. Uh, and you can see it goes straight to black up there. And this is one that had a lot of flaws that I did a couple of weeks ago, and I actually posted it online. Uh, but I kind of like the way it came out. It's a little rough looking, uh, but it's got some interesting colors, a lot of contrast. I think this thing actually will catch some fish. So I hope you guys found this interesting. These guys are going out fishing with me in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this stuff, subscribe. If you got a buddy who likes this stuff, share it. And don't forget to give me a quick thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next video.